the lull before the storm. And it's all about the eights this afternoon. And they're away in another fantastic matchup in the PE, the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup. I mean, we've spoken about it several times this morning. I've been fortunate enough to commentate several of these races so far, and the standard of these crews is unbelievable. It certainly is, and it's absolutely first class. And even though some of the schools have got their some of their boats racing the Temple, uh, but it would seem Bedford have had a flyer, seem to have taken the lead up towards the end of the island, just under a length. So we have the Bedford School up against Moncton Coombe School. The Moncton Coombe School near Bath, they were on the River Avon, and uh, Bedford on the other side of the country from East Anglia. But the uh, it, uh, looks like there's quite a significant gap in the class between the crew. But that's not to take away from Moncton Coon. They're giving absolutely everything this early stage of race to keep in contact with Bedford, the blue and white boat you see in the background. In the Bedford school crew, coached by Pete Mark Herons. Mark Cross was telling me before he's a former British Olympic rower, great coach, and he has two sons racing here one for the Star Club and one for Bedford Modern Boat Club. And he's the coach of the Bedford School Boat Club crew, which is currently in the lead over Moncton Coombe School. As now we pick the race up just under halfway along the course, you can see Bedford enjoying it. A comfortable lead now, taking their rate of striking, the number of strokes they take a I minute mean, right down now, uh, just to relax relaxing and comfortable lead over Moncton Coombe but they're not uh, giving up by any means you can see they're fighting away you can see when you had both uh, crews in a shot though the difference between the two is Moncton really uh, fighting to get back on touch I mean this is a very classy row here from the Bedford School Boat Club they're looking quite relaxed their ratings down now all the way down to below 30. I mean, they're really enjoying this, probably even more so than uh, any race we've seen today so far. But as you said earlier, Sarah, this is the Wednesdays of the day we do tend to see the differences between uh, big differences between crews. In the Bedford School, in the bow seat, Austin Roberts, Oliver Mitchell, Trent Abraham, Alex King, George Christian, Tom Christian, Connor Sheridan, Lennart Royce, and Chris Lodge. Coxon there. You just see him having a gentle word with his crew, isn't he? It must be a wonderful place for a Cox to be sat, you know, just keeping the crew nice and relaxed and focused, doing the right things. And that can be the difficult thing, being a Coxon in a match racing situation, if you're in the lead, is if something happens with the crew behind, you know, a move is made or even the umpire's making a gesture, their back is facing the action. So uh, we have seen crews get into a bit of strife where the Coxon hasn't seen something and the crew has. So. Uh, that, whoa, and a big crab here. I was from just about to say that what the danger now is because the crew can see their lead that they don't uh, lose their focus and do something silly. And there we go. So this will be interesting. Wow. Starting yeah. again. Let's see their reaction. And you just can't afford to switch off for a second, can you? I mean, they were just paddling along there and... It's too easy. That was a brilliant example of why technique is so important in rowing. You switch off just for a, na a nanosecond, and that one little area, you can, your blade will dig down in the water, and it almost stop their boat uh, dead still. Fortunately for Bedford, they're the commanding lead, and they're just sat there enjoying it still. But wow, so we have a replay of this, what we call catching a crab here for, for non-rowers. Whoa, that's a... That was a big one. Stuff he didn't get clocked, he nearly knocked, knocked out yeah. by that, and then he got him on the tour, didn't he? So, and, and what happens is it acts as a brake and a rudder on the boat. So not only has it slowed the boat right down, it's also steered the boat a little bit too. But that, to be fair to Bedford, they've dealt with that really, really well. And the crew was calm, quick start, off they go again. And yeah. here they are maintaining their lead again. Although I suspect... We reckon that's probably taken, I, I'd say, two lengths out of their lead that that might have made. Then it was really stuck in there, his oar. Uh, that, 
Yeah, that was uh, that was quite a, a vicious one. But it also has the impact on the crew. Can I, they'll be worrying. Now. Can I, what happens if it, again? What happens if you hit the boom? Because it's in your it's your mind then. And you can't get rid of it. Although I dare say there's a little bit more concentration than there was in that crew now. I noticed that they have a tandem rig um, there in the six and seven seat, and sometimes having a tandem does make it more susceptible because the puddles are closer to the blades and yeah. so if, if you're not really onto your blade work and you're not getting your blade nice and cleanly out of the water it does make it a little bit more risky uh, having having a tandem rig so I'm not sure if that's to blame uh, for it happening but um, it does increase the risk having that kind of a rig. It does. The rig now coming through the enclosures enjoying the applause. Moncton Coon though, so not giving up, they're still fighting to get back on touch. They're starting to raise their rate up towards 37-38. A really sharp and part of their supporters as well. I believe the school's 150th year, so they're putting on a bit of a show. That's great, good on them. Huge number of entries, I think I heard that there were 64 entries in this event. Uh, so to have a start here on the Wednesday is no mean feat. Well done there. A little shaky at one stage for the Bedford School Boat Club. But uh, they recovered nicely to take our Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup and make it through to the Thursday over Moncton Coombe School. Saturday's gone, hasn't it? It's not been a dull day, has it? It has not been. We've seen uh, some very exciting racing and some very interesting things happen. So stay with us.